<clears throat> okay, let's do the capital letter Q. Capital letter Q. We can start the same way that uh, as we did the O with that um this funny shaped oval. Almost looking like a rectangle with the rounded corners. Then on the inside, I can do the same thing as I did with the O. Skinny up top, skinny up bottom. On the sides, I have a, a more width going on right there. Uh, I think I'll leave this alone for now as I want to do the kickstand that we usually put in the letter Q. So I'm doing that. That and that. Okay, let's go ahead and trace this. So watch what I'm tracing. I'm going to trace this a little neater, please. Here, here, here. All right, you see that? Alright, let me go ahead and trace this as well, the kickstand protruding out from the curve. Alright, let me erase this, erase this, and erase this curve right here. Alright, there's our Q. Let's see if we can 3D this Q. Which way? Which way? Hmm. Should I go up? This way? Okay. Yeah, I'm going to go up and to the right. I'm up here, right? Looking down. Up and to the right. Up and to the right. Look at this. Up and to the right. Let me slant that more. There we go. Okay. So up to the right, up to the right, to the right. This touched. That should touch. I'm um, up here, all right. So I'm looking down. So that means I should see the top of this Q and around here. Not much of the bottom, though, right? So I want to start about right here. I'm putting my dot right there to let you guys know where I'm starting from. Let me drag this down some. So I'm putting that right there. Right. So I'm coming up. Up to the right, we're up here, so that means you can see all of that. And I'm going to connect here, boom. See that? So, boom. Where do I go from here? Slant, boom. This next line is going to match that line. Boom. All right, and what else do I see? I do see some of this underneath here, but not much. Maybe about that. Boom. So I got underneath there, here. Okay, I'm still not done. Let me drag this up some. If I'm up here looking down, that means I should see this. And this. Mm. Okay. Now you should be able to shade in your 3D parts. Yourself. Look at. Oh my gosh, 
know you guys probably hear all of that um, video I'm playing in the background. Alright. Try to ignore that and just focus on the on the three D ink part there. Alright. See how I left a highlighted edge right there? Then some of that light spilled over into uh, that darkness there. Alright. See if you can do this part here and down there by yourself. Also this part here might take some highlighting and shading as well. Alright, see you later.